everybody. Welcome back to Boat Fool Sailing. Thanks for tuning in last week and thanks for watching this week. Okay, so this week is going to be fun because we're going to head south. We're going to snowbird our way right down to Florida and look at the coolest boats for sale for less than $25,000 located between Orlando and Miami, East Coast or West Coast, doesn't matter. So the southern uh, sort of half of the state. Why Florida? Well, I've got family ties there. I've got family in Naples and I have a long-standing family history in the Winter Park area uh, and Sanford area. So um, we're going down south because you might want to buy a boat down there, you might live down there, you might want to sail around Florida for the winter, you might want to head down to the Keys or maybe the Bahamas uh, or maybe the Caribbean, who knows. But uh, there are some smoking deals down there and frankly I was surprised. Florida is very, uh, well the southern climates are very harsh on boats, but I found some really amazing boats. and. I'm psyched to show them to you today and frankly they get better the closer we get to number one so stick around because there's some real winners in there and possibly my new favorite boat of all time. In any event, we're going to blow through these as fast as we can like a tourist running for a vacant beach chair in the shade so come along it's going to be fun let's go. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Coming in at number 10 this week is a bit of a fixer-upper, and that's why she's number 10. Uh, so hear me out. She has a 1985 Endeavor 35 sloop. Originally listed at 24.9. List, uh, the list price has dropped recently to 19.5. She's been on the market for a few months, and the seller is moving to North Carolina and needs to unload this boat. Per the seller's note, mechanically perfect, structurally perfect, and everything works, including the Westerbeek diesel engine and transmission. Uh, however, she needs a little TLC, but nothing major. Uh, she has a U.S. Coast Guard documented vessel, which I particularly like. Uh, so in any event, she needs some TLC. So let's look at the pictures. Uh, again, it's a lot of boat for the money. She's located, by the way, in Apollo Beach, Florida, which is right outside of St. Petersburg. Um, the bright work looks like it needs some attention. Uh, wheel steering, nice big cockpit, high combings. I like this a lot. Uh, pretty similar to the Morgan 38 that I have. Uh, the down below looks like she needs some love and attention. Uh, you've got uh, a lot of woodwork that needs to be oiled or re-varnished. Uh, your seat cushions are all going to want to be replaced, at least the covering. The sole floor needs some work. Uh, the head looks uh, fine from what we can see of it in these pictures. The V-berth is a mess. You need to get some new uh, covers for those cushions or new cushions altogether. Your quarter berth, quarter berth looks fine, uh, but again, the down below looks like it needs most of the attention. Now, if the hull is solid and the deck is solid, and everything is fine down uh, mechanically and structurally, then this might be worth the investment. I can see some water staining around your ports, but that's not that unusual, frankly. So let's look at the sailboat data on this, okay? Um, here are your schematics. Uh, this is the boat here. You got a V-berth, one, two, three, four, it sleeps about six or seven. Um, and you uh, have a fiberglass uh, constructed hull. I'll find out what the decks are. First built in 1983, last built in 1987. 300 of these were built. That's the same as the Morgan 382, by the way, uh, designed by Bruce Kelly. So that's a very popular design. Um, this says it has a Perkins. We know by the seller's note it's a Westerbeek. Holds 33 gallons of diesel, 76 gallons of water. Sailor area, sailor area displacement of 19 and a half. That's a fast boat, ladies and gents. She's also a very stiff boat with a ballast displacement of uh, nearly 43. Uh, she's a moderate displacement at 230. Comfort ratio of 24, so not quite around 30, but probably not bad for uh, off the coast of Florida and Gulf of Mexico. Uh, capsizing screening of just over 2 and an S factor of 2.6. So uh, a lively boat, a fun boat. And if you have the capability to do a little fixing up and, and you have, uh, 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 you're, you're down in the Florida area, this might be a very good boat to uh, invest your time and energy in because uh, a very popular boat, very sea kindly, very fast, and uh, would be a great boat to have uh, for uh, that kind of money. So number 10 this week is a 1985 um, uh, Endeavor 35. Okay, here we go. Coming in at number nine, and I was a little surprised to see this in Florida, but it's a 1985 Cape Dory 25D. So it's the newer model of the Cape Dory 25. List price of $16,000 located in Clearwater Beach, uh, posted about a month ago. So it uh, hasn't been on the market too long, reported to be in good condition. The diesel engine works and is serviced, and the boat has been professionally maintained and, has, and the owner has all the service paperwork. Garmin uh, chart plotter, working head, electric AC, new Edson wheel steering, radar reflector rigging is good to go. Sales are in good condition. All through hulls are new. Serviced in January of 2023. All right, so um, the pictures are a little bit small, but 
Um, here's your new wheel steering. Uh, we know that it's a Cape Dory, so we know the build quality is good. If you've got a Bimini, uh, which would be fantastic to get out of that Florida sun. The down below, these pictures are hard to see because they're so small, but there's your head. Uh, there's your down below in the main salon. You got a quarter berth, two uh, settees. There's your cockpit, which looks serviceable. Uh, but it's a 25 footer. This would be ideal for some day sailing, maybe an overnighter. Um, but these are great little boats, very solid. So if you're looking to break into sailing, this might be the boat for you. Um, I would say since it's been on the market for about a month that uh, you would take a crack at a much lower purchase price, maybe 12,000 on this. Um, but let's look at the uh, sailboat data. Um, here she is. This is the Cape, the Cape Dory 25D. So it's the newer uh, version with a little bit more headroom down below, I believe, than the earlier version. And uh, there's your head in, in the, in the V-berth area. Uh, so she'll sleep three comfortably. 189 of these were built, fiberglass construction. I'll find out about the decks. I suspect they're balsa cord. Sail area displacement of 16.4. Uh, so not bad. Ballast displacement of 40, a nice stiff boat. She's a heavy displacement at 333. Comfort ratio of nearly 24. And a capsizing screening of under two. No surprise there. She sees a full keel and a speed factor of 1.47. So reasonable performance. Carl Allberg design, of course, and uh, a real classic beauty in terms of her lines. And with that shallow draft, I think it's less than four feet. Uh, you could really get in. Yeah, max draft at three and a half feet. You can get into some shallow water with this boat. And your, uh, your rudder is protected, which is fantastic. This is hung off the back of your keel, as is your prop. A lot to like about this. And uh, if you're looking to break into sailing or downsize, this would be an awesome boat to check out. All right, coming in at number eight is a 1986 Cal 28-2. List price of $12,000, located in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, posted just over a week ago, reported to be in excellent condition. Okay, uh, the seller notes that uh, she's ready to sail and or liveaboard. She's got AC. Uh, she's in the uh, municipal uh, marina in St. Petersburg. And uh, she is regularly cleaned and annually maintained, but she has not been taken out of the water since 2019. So that's a little bit concerning, but uh, not the end of the world. So um, you've got a draft of uh, just over five feet, which is fantastic. Headroom of six feet. And uh, the engine is a 1986 inboard Westerbeek model 13A. It includes autopilot. Um, Let's see, radio, TV, speakers, VHF, propane stove and tank, and all sorts of other stuff uh, that I'm not going to get into here. But uh, new batteries as of 2020, uh, recently stitched and repaired Genoa as of 2021, new clutches, that's line clutches, uh, 2021, new Bimini 2021. Uh, two dehumidifiers, new bilge pump as, as of 2020, and jib sheets as of 21, and new anchor road and chain as of 2020. So, again, reported to be in excellent condition. Let's look at the pictures. Uh, there's your anchor locker. There is your engine uh, control cluster. Here she is under sail. I see a little bit of discoloration on the hull here, but I can't tell if that's um, just the image or reflection of the water or uh, damage, but you would obviously want to get a service. So you've got a Bimini, you've got a Dodger frame. I don't know where the Dodger is, but um, nice lines on this boat. And again, if you're looking for, oh, there it is with the, the um, no, that must be your Bimini that's down right there. Um, here she is under sail, but you know, it's pretty standard lines and uh, the down below looks nice. There's your helm station. Um, there's your, uh, you know, your gusher pump there and your ship to shore power. And uh, you've, oh wait, you've got a aft hung uh, ladder that folds down, which is great. There's your head, there's your quarter berth, fee berth. Cushions look serviceable, um, but all in all, uh, a decent boat. So let's look at the uh, sailboat data. All right, here are your uh, schematics. She is uh, the hunt design um, of the Cal 28.2. So it's a second generation uh, when it moved over to hunt. And, um, Pretty standard layout there. You've got a fiberglass construction uh, hull, but I'll find out about the decks. Um, you've got a length overall of 28 feet, length along water of 23, and a uh, beam of almost 11, so not bad. Um, designer was the Raymond Hunt uh, design on this one. And uh, first built in 1985, Yanmar Diesel. This one I believe had a Western Beak, as we said, and holds 40 gallons of water. Sailor displacement of just over 17, which is great. Uh, pretty stiff boat at 39.4. Um, moderate displacement at 253 and a comfort ratio of just under 20. She's going to be a little bouncy, but like I said, if you're on the West Coast of Florida, uh, it should be pretty decent there. Capsizing screening of over 2, uh, 2.21, and an S-factor 2.17. So you could probably race this boat and, and do pretty well 
have some fun with it. And I noticed in some of those pictures, I think she was racing. But for an entry level boat and for that price of uh, $12,000, and I think since it's a Fizbo and, I, you know, I think you could go for, you know, 10, maybe nine and maybe walk away with a nice boat that with a little work could be really uh, quite excellent. So um, she is number eight. All right, let's see what's happening at number seven this week. Number seven is a 1993 Catalina 28 Mark II, list price of 22600 Listed just a couple days ago over in Titusville, Florida. That's on the East Coast, east of Orlando. So you might be able to get some uh, Cape Canaveral, uh, you know, fun uh, rocket launches over there. But in the meantime, this is a great starter boat, uh, dual spreader uh, rig on that, full bat and main. There's a video, I'm not going to play it, but just to go over some of this, it's clean and ready to sail today. Uh, you've got a 17 horsepower diesel with just under 2,300 hours, which is not bad if it's been well maintained. It has a rebuilt water pump, which is great. It's got a clean heat exchanger, also good. You've got cabin AC. Uh, you've got a head with a 17 gallon black water holding tank, 42 gallons of fresh water. You've got a grill, autopilot, plotter, and more. So let's look at the pictures. Um, there does look like there's a little rub mark here, uh, hopefully just superficial. Uh, you got a little smoochy schmoo happening up on the bow, which is not savory to look at. Uh, full batten mate, I'm just kidding. They look very cute. Uh, dual spreaders, uh, Bimini, Dodger, uh, obviously fenders that they didn't haul back in before they went. You got a split backstay, which I do like. Um, and the boat overall looks really sort of clean and nice. And like the seller says, if you're looking for a first boat, this boat would be ideal. Um, and I would tend to agree. Here's your helm station, char plotter, instruments, uh, nice wheel steering. And there you are looking through your uh, Bimini and Dodger. Your, here's your uh, diesel. Looks like it's probably a Yanmar. Um, doesn't say, but it uh, looks a little rough, but that's, I think, mostly due in part being in Florida. I see some spider cracks on your engine mounts here. You might want to check that out. Um, but uh, it says it's regularly serviced, so that's good. And there's your galley, which is great. You got a full uh, stove and galley sink on this. This is this is kind of nice down below. The wood looks pretty decent. There's your head, which looks nice and big. Um, it's now it's an open air concept, so uh, you would have to put a curtain up or something if you're going to go with another couple. But a nice big V berth, open and airy down below. These the wood down below all looks nice. And there's your compression post for your mast. Um, but uh, really, the uh, your uh, your cluster here of uh, switches all looks good, and uh, like I said, you've got AC. Uh, here are all your um, chain plates uh, right here. But overall, this boat there's your head door here, and there's looking aft towards your companionway. But this boat looks clean and tidy. Uh, no uh, teak and holly floor they have to worry about down here. Uh, just a nice runner carpet. And nice settee uh, dinette table here, which would open up so you could sit on either side. A lot to like about this boat. Uh, I would check this chain plate uh, on your bow there, but um, here's your grill. You got some seating right here on your um, push pit there. That's fantastic. There's your chart plotter. Uh, there's a video we're not going to watch. But uh, all in all, uh, actually, I can let that play for a second. All in all, it looks like a really nice boat. And for that price of, uh, what did I say? I think it was 12000 um, yeah, no, I'm sorry, 22,600. Uh, this is a Fizbo, so maybe maybe aim lower, maybe start at 18. I think this would be a real good buy, especially if you are a new boat buyer and new to sailing and want something manageable. The size is perfect, that main looks great. Let's look at the uh, sailboat dead on this. Okay, this is the Mark II Catalina 28. Here's your floor plan, uh, floor plan open concept, um, like we saw. Uh, you've got a length on water of 22, length overall of 29. You've got a beam of 10.33, uh, fiberglass construction. I'll check about the decks. Uh, the max draft of just over five feet. So again, it's nice shallow draft to get into some shallow places. Uh, first built in 1995, last built in uh, 2010. No number of boats built. Uh, universal uh, de diesel, it says on this. So maybe it's a universal. Um, 49 gallons of water. And sail area displacement of 14 and a quarter, ballast displacement of 38.5, so relatively stiff boat, uh, moderate displacement of 273, comfort ratio of 23 almost, so not bad. Capsizing screen of just over two and an S factor of 1.71, not bad. So again, for a first boat and a boat that's pretty much turnkey, this would be a boat to check out. All right, popping in at number six this week, near and dear to my heart, a Morgan. But this is a Morgan 25. Uh, she is just outside of St. Petersburg. She has a list price of 10500 been 
posted for about a week and she's had a total restoration as of this year 2023 um so what does this have that's all new new sails new halyards new roller furler new chain plates new bottom paint new hull and deck paint new legs on windows new cockpit teak new interior paint new cushions lead and solar lighting shoal draft centerboard of two and a half feet a yamaha four horsepower four stroke outboard anchor life jackets bimini top eight foot cockpit two seven foot berths kept on a lift fast cruiser great for a couple also uh, or a family and has won many local races uh 10 5 o b o Okay, reported to be in excellent condition, as she should be since she just had a total restoration. So, uh, hard to see what she looks like, but it looks like the sails are crisp and new. Um, the down below looks amazing. Uh, now, remember, she's only 25 feet, so uh, don't expect all the room in the world. You've got two uh, berths here, which are great. Uh, looks like you've got a sink over here in your galley. Um, and uh, let's see, here she is on the lift. There's your new hull paint. So she's been all gripped, it looks like. There's your new roll of furling. But what an adorable little boat. Again, if you're looking to break into sailing and uh, have a, a boat that you could trailer and uh, move around and be comfortable on for an overnight or just some day sailing, this boat would be for you. And I can testify to the Morgan build. These are solid boats. So let's look at the sailboat data. Okay, what an adorable little boat. Again, that big uh, dead light port there, which is so typical of Morgan's. Um, but uh, really, really pretty lines on her. And, um, you know, 460 of these were made. That is astonishing. That's a huge build number. Uh, solid fiberglass uh, laminate build and I will check on the decks but it might be fiberglass all over uh, length overall of nearly 25 feet length on length on water about uh, 22 eight foot beam and uh, was built from 1965 to 1976 holds 20 gallons of water uh, she's got a uh, sailor displacement of 17 not bad uh, ballast displacement nearly 40 at 38.78 uh, she is a moderate displacement of 220 and a comfort ratio of 21. Capsizing screening of just under 2 and an S factor of 2.48. So a pretty quick boat. Uh, and like they said, they've won some races on this thing. And I just think it's adorable. So uh, there she is under sale in this picture. But um, for the price of uh, 10.5, and again, it's a Fizbo, so you might be able to get it for less with the total, all the work that's been done on this thing. Uh, I would take a real close look at this if you're looking for a very competent uh, day sailor or overnighting uh little sloop the she would be fantastic the engine hours by the way on that yamaha are only 50 so uh not bad all right cracking the top five this week is a 1976 bristol 32 list price of twenty thousand dollars listed about a month and a half ago in Bel Air beach florida which is near clearwater now why this boat? Well, I love Bristol's. As you all know by now, I think this is one of the prettiest boats on the water in terms of its design. Uh, they are known to hobby horse a little bit because of the overhangs, but just a pretty boat. Now, uh, this has had both batteries replaced. Uh, electric head has been put in, a new battery charger. Uh, the fuel tank has been cleaned and polished. She has a newer uh, Yanmar diesel with only 500 hours approximately on it. Uh, a new uh, Garmin uh, chart plotter with a 7-inch screen, new bottom paint cleaned every three weeks and she's a very nice ride he says that uh, it'd make a fun gift for that sailor friend or spouse i don't know if i'm dropping 20k on my buddy uh but certainly for my spouse if i had it i would uh and if she wanted a bristol but uh this is a really pretty boat so let's take a look at the pictures uh you've got um a bimini you've got um uh, helm steering here and she looks to be in nice shape you also have looks like a dodger too uh, which is down at the moment in those pictures but uh, shallow draft on this you've got a protected rudder uh, hung off your keel and a protected prop which would be great for florida in case you're bumping along the bottom uh, in those shallow anchorages you've got roller furling um, and here she is on the jack stands getting her bottom painted uh, but and there's a nice protected rudder and prop i love that uh, just a really pretty boat. So let's let's go down below and take a look at the pictures. Now, the down below does look like it needs a little uh, love and attention to the woodwork, but the seat cushions and fabric all look to be in good condition. Uh, the, the sole floor looks like it could use a refinishing. Apparently, that's a new electric head. Um, there's your V-berth. 
and there's your main salon looking up toward the bow. But uh, classic lines, and like I said, one of the prettiest boats on the water. And I think uh, since it is a Fizbo, you might be able to get it for less than uh, 20. So maybe going at 15, 5 or 17, but really, really a, a beautiful boat. So let's look at the uh, sailboat data. So she is not the uh, yawl version. Um, she is a sloop and um, 322 of these were made. She has a length overall of 32 feet, length on water of 22. So uh, overhangs of up to 10 feet there. So uh, like I said, she's been known to hobby horse, but uh, not the end of the world. And I think especially uh, off the coast of Florida there on the West Coast, she'd be fine. Beam of nine and a half feet, a little bit narrow, uh, solid laminate uh, fiberglass build, but I'll check about the, uh, the uh, decks. They probably are cord. First built in 1966, last built in 1983. Uh, my buddy had one of these and I, he just loved it. Uh, this is not an atomic four gas. It is a uh, Yanmar diesel. Uh, 100 gallons of water, which I find hard to believe for that size. But if it's true, that's a lot of water for that size boat. Uh, sail area displacement of 15.3. Uh, uh, ballast displacement of 36. Uh, she's an ultra heavy displacement of 452. Comfort ratio of over 33. So even though it says that... Um, yeah, that's a good comfort ratio, but I think in a choppy sea state, uh, you know, she might hobby horse a little bit, but uh, who am I to say? Uh, capsizing screening of under uh, 2 at 1.7 and a speed factor of 0.83. So not the fastest boat, but she's going to be comfortable in most sea states and a pleasant ride and just a stunner uh, and head turner. And this one looks to be in good condition. All right, coming in at number four this week, another Morgan. I love this boat, ladies and gentlemen. A Morgan 30, 1969 vintage, uh, list price of 11250 just dropped from 14995 Listed just two weeks ago over in Miami. She has a timeless beauty. Uh, she has a three and a half foot draft. She has a brand new Genoa and roller furler by Harkin. And uh, the mainsail is in good condition and a brand new head. It is a Westerbeek 30 horsepower original diesel on this. Uh, however, if it's been well maintained, shouldn't be an issue. She is located at the sailing club in the Coconut Grove. Uh, mooring is not included. Let's look at the pictures. Um, I, by the way, I, I l like the Bristol 32. I just I love the shear on this boat. Uh, I love the bow curve. I love everything about it. It's got an aftermarket um, tr aft hung ladder here, which I'll show you, and a sort of swim flat platform, which I'll show you. Um, and you've got a keel step mass on this. You also have a bimini. Uh, there's your swim platform. Um, and I just, I love the lines of this boat. Now, this has been modified from the original look, which has a bigger uh, deadlight port here to two ports, which is probably allows for better ventilation down in Florida. But the down below is bright and airy and well appointed and looks clean and tidy, which is a great mark of good seamanship. Um, I, you know, I just, I love this boat. There's a good look at that aft swim platform. And uh, there's your Bimini. Um, and uh, she is tiller steering. You've got auto helm. Here's the video. I'll just let that play for a second. Uh, tiller steering on this. And uh, you're just made in the shade under here. So uh, I love this boat. Let's look at the uh, sailboat data on this. Okay, here she is tiller steering. Uh, there, That's what I was talking about with a bigger port light there. Uh, the, the subject's been modified. So uh, it looks like she is centerboard. Uh, though it's not mentioned in the um, in the description, but um, you've got a length overall of uh, t almost 30 feet and a length on water of 25, so a differential of uh, 24 rather, so a differential of five feet. Beam of nine and a quarter. Um, you've got a max draft of 716, uh, 7.16 with the board down. So she has a board with a minimum draft of uh, three and a half feet. So great for getting into some shallow beach areas, fiberglass construction. I'll check about the decks. Um, first built in 1968, last built in 1971. 320 of these were built, designed by Charlie Morgan, the late great. Uh, so a very successful model for um, Morgan. And uh, the subject is a diesel, not a gas engine. You got a cellular displacement of 15.6, ballast displacement of 43, so a very stiff boat, um, heavy displacement of 332, comfort ratio of over 32, nearly 33, so very similar to the Bristol 32, capsizing screening of under 2 at 1.69, and an S factor of 1.42. So it's going to be faster than the Bristol uh, and a little more stable than the Bristol and a little bit more comfortable than the Bristol. 
and um, and a little bit less expensive. And it's a beautiful boat. And this one really looks to be in good shape. So I would take a close look at that for that price of eleven thousand two fifty, maybe going at nine or ten and get yourself a smoking deal on this really, really pretty example of a 1969 Morgan 30. All right, let's see what's happening at number three this week. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, the boats are just getting better and better. And I was surprised by that, especially in Florida at this price point. But look, number three this week is a 1972 Bristol 35. That's absolutely beautiful. How do I know that? Because it says it right there. List price of 25.9, located in St. Petersburg, Florida. She's been on the market for about three months. I understand that she's over our price point of 25,000, but since she's been on the market for uh, three months, you're going to get it for less than 25,000. I bet you could get it for 22 or less. It's a Fizbo. Now look, this boat, it's named Integra, which I like because it was named my first car, the Acura Integra, but it's also uh, beautiful and turnkey. Uh, total refit done in 2008. And since this owner's had it since 2018, he has kept it, or she has kept it in excellent condition with engine maintenance, new bottom paint in 2019, and additional coat in 2020, 2021, and regular bottom cleaning and hull waxing. She's got a Yanmar diesel, chart plotter, Raymarine smart pilot, autopilot, air conditioning. Um, and uh, you have got uh, also uh, refrigeration on this boat. You've got dinghy davits, but no dinghy. And um, you have a mounting block for a small engine. And it's a deck, deck stepped mass with steps, simply a beautiful vessel. Now, um, I'm not going to go through all the things here because you can go read that on your own, but there is a ton here. You've got a 35 pound CQR anchor, which is right there. Uh, so let's look at the pictures, okay? This one's not particularly big, but um, all the windows are clear, new, and you've got a nice Dodger, nice sail cover here. And there is your helm station and nice big cockpit with high combings. The down below is absolutely cherry. I don't know if it's cherry wood, but it looks in cherry condition. Look how clear these lights are, it's beautiful. And I love these little lanterns. You got a TV uh, and this folds down to a double bed right there. Uh, the, the fabric on the cushions make it feel like a nice fancy hotel. The woodwork is unbelievable. Uh, the galley here looks nice. Uh, there are your uh, companionway steps. There's your galley sink. There's your cook, cooktop stove there. There's your V-berth uh, that's all made up. You got mirrors there to make it feel bigger. Uh, there she is with no uh, sheets on and open. Look at that floor. Look at the sole floor. Perfect condition. Uh, there's your head. It uh, looks like a new uh, Japsco uh, head in there. Uh, the woodwork again, off the charts. Here's your Yanmar. It looks beautiful. Um, and just the lines on this boat. I have to say, of all the Bristol 35s I've seen over the years, this might be a, a perfect specimen. You've got lazy jacks, roller furling, mass steps, as uh, you can sort of see in that picture. Um, but I love this boat. I really, really do. Uh, 405 hours on that engine. It's basically new. Let's look at the sailboat data. Okay. Uh, here she is. Uh, the subject is wheel steering, not tiller. Uh, full keel, uh, protected rudder and prop, which I love. Um, you've got a length overall of nearly 35 feet at 34.65, a length on water of 23.75. So uh, basically uh, a 11 foot differential there. Um, but that's okay. It makes up for it in its beauty. A beam of 10 feet and uh, a max draft of five feet, which is fantastic for Florida. Uh, fiberglass solid laminate construction. I'll check on the decks. And 65 of these were made between 1966 and 1978. Uh, builders, Bristol Yachts, obviously, and designed by uh, Clifford Swain and John Alden. Uh, not an atomic gas, it's a diesel on this one. It says it holds 130 gallons of water, which would be fantastic for both that size. Sail area displacement of uh, nearly 16. Ballast displacement of nearly 42, which means nice stiff boat, that's great. Ultra heavy displacement at 416. Comfort ratio of uh, 30, just over 33. So the Morgan, the Bristol 32, and this one, all comfort ratios well into the 30s, which is great. Capsizing screening of under two at 1.73 and a speed factor of 0.99. So not the fastest boat, but she's gonna get you there. And like I said, this is one of the uh, prettiest Bristol 35s I have ever seen. And I hope uh, that someone takes a close look at this because uh, she is, as I like to say, a stunner. Whew. All right, we're getting close. Coming in at number two this week is a 1976 CNC 30, list price of 17500 located in Indiantown, Florida, uh, West Coast, and uh, reported to be in excellent condition. In fact, 
the broker says uh, advan- uh, Advantage Yacht Sales uh, and Service says the boat is in like new condition and is set up for cruising. Uh, this boat is ready for a trip to the Bahamas, according to the broker. And I have to concur. Now, why is CNC 30 in uh, the top three? Because of the condition of this boat is very simple. This boat is in mint condition. You've got a Bimini solar helm station with the traveler right in front of the helm, which I, I like for single handing. There your primary winches uh, are set back here too. You've got a, a, a gas grill. Um, and these CNCs are well behaved, fun boats to sail. It looks like you've got some lazy jacks. You've got a Dodger too. Uh, yeah, you do have lazy jacks, which is great. Um, the down below looks very, very neat. You've got a three burner gimbaled stove. The woodwork all looks to be in good shape. The fabric's in great condition. The hull floor, uh, you don't have to, the sole floor rather, you don't have to worry about that. Very little wood. And it is a keel step uh, mass, which I prefer. And uh, the V berth looks serviceable. She's only 30 feet, so she's not that big. The head looks great too, by the way. Uh, looks like a newer Japs go ahead on that. Um, but um, it's just clear that uh you know the owners have taken good care of this boat and uh for a first boat entry level boat or a downsize uh this boat is fantastic this is going to be a quick lively fun boat to sail so here's some more down uh, down below picture your uh cell tailing primaries which is great uh all the lines look good Everything about this boat looks fantastic. I'm trying to see uh, if there are any other notes about this. Uh, here is a list of all the things that it has. I'm not going to go through these, but you do have shore power. You've got all your instruments. You've got autopilot. Um, you've got marine head, hot water, refrigerator, deep freezer, battery charger, solar panels, uh, uh, swimming ladder, check, uh, steering wheel, electric winch. I don't know why it has an electric winch. I don't believe that's true. But uh, in any event, I love the looks of this boat. Uh, no, it does. I'm sorry. It has a windlass. Excuse me. Um, I think, and it's a new windlass, by the way. So this boat is really set up for cruising. And um, I, I, I love CNCs. I've raced on the CNC 40 uh, Fiesta for a lot of, uh, for a lot of my uh, younger life. And uh, these boats are great. And this one really looks to be a great example. So let's look at the sailboat, Dan, on this. Because if you're looking for a turnkey boat, uh, this one is it. Um, all right, here are your schematics. There she is under sail. Uh, very simple boats to sail. And since this one's set up for cruising, even better. Um, all right, here we go. Length overall of 30 feet, uh, length along water of nearly 25, so a five foot differential, beam of 10 feet, uh, max draft five feet, which is great. Fiberglass construction. I'll check about the decks. Uh, eight hundred of these were built, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, very popular boat last built in 1985, um, 20 gallons of fuel, and 42 gallons of water. Headroom is just over six feet, and you've got a uh, sail area displacement of nearly 19, 18.4, so a fast boat. Uh, ballast displacement of 43, very stiff. Moderate displacement of 230. Comfort ratio of down around 22, so not as comfortable as the other boats, but quick. Uh, capsizing screening around two, and a speed factor of 2.5. So if you have any interest in, in racing or cruising racing, uh, cruising class, it does have a spinner pole, I believe. Um, you could use this boat for that, but I love this boat. She's number two this week. All right, all right, somebody kick it. Kick it on the drums, please. Coming in at number one this week, my new all-time favorite, a 1964 Chesapeake 32, a Philip Rhodes design. List price of $25,000, located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. List price was just dropped by $4,000 on October 3rd. And like I said, she might be my new favorite because she is absolutely beautiful. She's going to knock your socks off. She's going to blow your hair back. Look, only 95 of these were made between 1960 and 1965. She has a solid fiberglass hull with a cord deck, and she is beautifully proportioned. Why? Because Bob Perry said so in the 1984 issue of Sailing when asked to choose his favorite classic plastic. He chose the Chesapeake as his favorite oldie because it was one of the first that struck him. It grabbed him by the heart when he saw it. Why? Beauty of proportion. Portion. I couldn't agree more. Okay, lots of new stuff, including a new GPS antenna, antenna as of 2018, uh, varnish stripped and redone in fall of 2018, cutlass bearing bottom paint as of uh, new as of 2018, deck painted 2017, top size painted in 2017, and a new 
seven eighths tall aluminum rig and boom so she's a frack rig which was not the original design but let's take a look uh again these pictures are just going to knock your socks off i love everything about this boat i love the sheer i love the transom i love the bright work on this boat here your top sides look like freshly painted so we'll have to confirm when these pictures were taken and i would ask the broker just that uh full keel protected rudder protected prop which i love as you know uh here she is under sail look at your nice news and crisp sails on there uh and new rig the down below is spotless you can eat off the floor and uh it's just uh it's turnkey you don't have to do anything to this boat and for twenty five thousand uh, dollars you're walking away uh, you've got a stove even though you don't need it in those hot florida days and nights but maybe if you took her up the east coast of maine to visit me uh, we could use it now that v-birth looks nice too nice light in there um uh, the head is interesting i love this uh sink here and it uh, looks like it's a newer head and updated, which is fantastic. Looking back towards your companionway, your sink is almost center line. Um, oh God, I could just, uh, I could stare at this thing all day. And that's the kind of boat you want to buy, right? Tiller Helm, nice cockpit with high combings there. Look at that. That's fantastic. Um, uh, let's see. There you are with a sort of awning on top. Your companionway doors. There she is under sail. There your decks. Beautiful. Um, Gosh, oh man, would you look at that? What more could you possibly want? Uh, Self-tailing winches, uh, primaries, there's your fractional rig and your beautiful sails on this boat. Uh, there she is at sunset. I can't say enough about this boat. I'm gonna leave you with this, this picture here because it's my favorite. So let's look at the sailboat data on her. Okay, the Chesapeake 32, there she is. Very narrow, uh, sleek looking design. Uh, length overall of 32, length long water of uh, 22. So you've got an overhangs of about 10 feet. Uh, beam of only 875, like I said, very narrow. A uh, max draft of four and three quarters feet. That's fantastic for Florida. First built 1960, last built 1965. Uh, 95 built Phillips Road designs, as I mentioned. Sail area displacement nearly 15. Um, she's a ballast displacement of 32, and she is an ultra heavy displacement at 476. Comfort ratio of nearly 40. Comfortable boat, ladies and gentlemen. Capsizing screening of 155, 1.55, I should say, and a speed factor of just under one at 0.72. Not the fastest boat uh, on the water, but she is going to be comfortable and she's going to be beautiful. She's an absolute stunner. She is hot, hot, hot. She is number one this week. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.